Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill in today for Karen Drew, and you can see the crunched cars on I-96. This is near Fowlerville. Dozens of drivers smashing into each other. This pileup has left three people dead so far. Investigators just held a news conference within the past hour. Jason Colthorpe was there for it. And Jason, what did they say? What's the latest here? Hey, good afternoon, Kim. Uh, the latest is eastbound I-96 is back open again. Westbound is a completely different story. It's still closed from M59 to M52. And when you get a look at those aerial photos and the up close shots, you know it, uh, it's, it's a heavy metal mess. It's going to take a while. However, as we just got an update here at the Livingston County EMS, optimistically, they think maybe it could be cleared in the next two hours. The crash, crash investigation is just about clear. So they think maybe they can get that cleaned up possibly even for rush hour, which would be a miracle if you've seen it. And earlier, this is the up close video we had of this westbound lanes. A few accidents spread out, but in all about eight semis and 32 passenger vehicles in one spot, two vehicles crushed down to less than the size of one in between three semis. And it is in that spot where those three people were killed, pronounced dead at the scene. Three people in two separate vehicles. 11 people were taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Um, coming up at five, we'll hear from a driver who uh, drove through that. And what we're being told is basically we, we all saw what the weather was like this morning. It started to snow a little bit in that area. It just kind of hit a bit of a, a whiteout conditioned snow squall, for lack of a better phrase. And all of a sudden people couldn't see and then there was a little bit of ice on the road and that's what uh, authorities at this point feel caused the whole pile up. We're going to get into this more at five o'clock and at six. Kim. OK, we'll talk to you then, Jason. Thanks. And we've been bringing you updates on the story since after 10 a.m. here on Local 4 and click on Detroit.com. Remember, you can get push alerts on traffic 24 hours a day on the Click on Detroit app anytime.